The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent, excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph! <laughs> Woo! Such a stud. I didn't know that. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Good yeah. For you. Uh Scotty get bent, you dickweed. And um <laughs> I actually listened to the intro to the show on the last one. Uh-huh. And uh I'm guessing that our listening audience thinks that our in-house audience uh-huh. is a hundred yards away. <laughs> yeah. You you really suck at those drops. <laughs> well, shut up. Uh, but also uh Burn! We, yeah. Jesus! <laughs> you got me uh, good, German. Yep. Uh, but uh, we, we do uh, not have Derek today. Derek's taking uh, a nope. vacation. Um, so we do have another excellent. This is an actual excellent stand up comedian. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This yeah. is an actual trained broadcaster, Scotty. Yes. So don't <laughs> fucking embarrass me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a uh, very funny Adam Cook on. Yes. What's up, yes. dude? Yes. Hey, not a ton. Thank you guys so much for having me on. Yeah. I'm very excited to be here. Absolutely. I think this is going to be a blast. Oh, you are going to ruin your career by being Yeah, you are. Yes, yeah. sir. Yep, for I've been sure. Because you can't take shit off the internet once it's up there. No, no it, it's there permanently. Mm-hmm. I think so. if, you, if you stand by... The thing they're trying to cancel you. Mm-hmm. It's almost a little bit more intimidating and they it have sure no is. choice yeah. but to yeah. back off. Yeah, you know. Like they're like, you're a racist. I'm like, well, yes. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not, guys. Okay. And just, just to let you know. Uh, we that do, was just an example. Right. Uh, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this show, by the way, uh, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports yes. and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time they're direct towards me, but Derek's not here, so maybe I get a, get away with it this time, maybe? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I know no. you Jeremy. No, you will no. not. Okay. Uh, well, fuck. In fact, I, just going along. Yeah. I feel like I have to pick up some slack here mm-hmm. and go at you twice as hard. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but also, this is, if you haven't already figured it out yet, this is an adult podcast, uh, so we like to use foul language and make loud noises, so if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the mm-hmm. fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Kid. Dude, Jesus. you want to talk about, like, the couple of weeks after the Super Bowl... There's not very much sports. Mm-mm. There's like college basketball, NBA. It's, it's the dead zone. There it's, is if you know where to look yeah. for it, Scotty. True. There is. Yeah, I know. Check out the MLB network right now. There's a lot of sports movies on. Oh, is there? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah a lot of Bad time. News Bears. and uh, <laughs> yeah. Great. Awesome. The, the, the original rookie. the original trilogy. Right. Yeah. yeah, The Rookie. They play that one a lot, which I like that movie. I do, too. They're going to make me hate it if they don't stop playing it soon. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but we do. We do have a couple of things to go over as far as sports go we got real shit horse shit uh some more bad advice with jeremy which is becoming my favorite yeah, i'm excited to hear that oh, you say that every week when uh, will it actually get there scotty i don't know i don't I mean, know how fucking far up the ladder do i have to climb <laughs> I, I i don't know i you got your own segment just specifically for you so be more i like to think of this whole show as my segment pretty much <laughs> it is uh, but we have overrated I'm what they call talented <laughs> yes it's the only time he gets that's right uh got overrated <laughs> underrated questions for guntas a draft and as always a shitty situation uh, but before we get on to that stuff, let's talk about, uh, first of all, let's introduce our guest. Let's yeah. figure out who the hell he is. This is our week, week recap. So, Mr. Adam Cook, who the fuck are you, dude? Yes, well, <laughs> unfortunately, I've been going to therapy for about six months now, and I still can't answer that question myself. Awesome. But- uh, you yeah. keep giving somebody else's name? <laughs> <laughs> right. I, Aaron, right? I'm actually... Yeah. If you guys could call me Erica, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I actually can't wait to hear this because I'm... <laughs> you're you're a younger guy, and I'm out of touch with what young people do with their free time. I'm going to assume there's a skateboard and a protest fam. involved. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You wearing yeah. one of them stocking caps a lot? Oh, 100%. Sure. Yep. Underneath mm-hmm. my actual hat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's sure. a new thing these day, kids these days. But yeah, I'm Adam Cook. I am a, a comedian, uh, officially now just a comedian from Kansas City. I was originally here in Wichita, a sports broadcaster yep. for 93.9 KGSO. 
Um, but my time in Wichita is coming to an end, and so I decided to end my time with the radio, you know, just try to give them a good note, and I gave, put it my two weeks in around Christmas, and then the rest is history. I've kind of just been hanging out and trying to do as much comedy stuff as I can since then. How much would it cost to get you to stay here and host this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit. If you can pay me more than the radio did, I'll consider it. Uh, Are we talking like the radio so station whatever, or just a radio? Because I've never been paid uh, by, the, the, by radio. The, the particular radio station. So whatever change you have in your pocket, it'd Absolutely. probably do it. I, I got enough shit in my couch. I don't know if you knew this or not, but I'm fucking loaded. Right, <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know which one pays less, the radio talk show host or a stand-up comedian. Dude, it's... Yeah, I, I mean, mean it's a, a, a beginner a, stand-up comedian, an open <laughs> micer, yeah. I, I, that ugh. usually costs you money. Right. It <laughs> so did working for the radio, but <laughs> that's yeah. all right. Well, because it's on the west side. I live on the east side of Wichita, and so I was driving like 20 minutes every day. Uh, about the same amount of time it took me to get here. Right. Sure. Uh-huh. Um, Don't tell him my location. Real, I won't. I won't. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this a I great time? East, I'm just making it yeah. conspicuous. Isn't this a great time of year to be driving west at this time of evening? Yes. Yeah. It's fantastic. That Staring right at sun. that sun. <laughs> <laughs> you never get a chance to just sit back and really admire the sun. Yeah. Except when you're driving west. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's just right in your eyes. Mm-hmm. I can actually still see the burned imprint. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It's right. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but, yeah, I uh, went to Kansas State University. I graduated in December of last year. You did this so. all this last week. Yeah. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yep. In God, December. we are lazy motherfuckers over I know, here, Jeremy. Right? I, yeah, I just do a lot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and then... I came to Wichita. I met Jeremy Mm -hmm. because I was participating in Wichita's Funniest Person, and it was the finals, right? Yeah. Yes. And they, uh, because they just absolutely hate my fucking guts over there, they made me go first. (laughs) Um, And so the judges just uh, absolutely tore me to shreds. Um, I'm pretty sure Jeremy commented on how he could see my nipples pointing out or something like that. It's just like it was just harsh, you know, all the way down. Like the the one female judge there did not like um, my yeast infection joke. I remember oh, that. Man. That was the one comment that stuck out to me. I she's like, remember there are like yeast infections. She's like, they, probably not. remember there are women in the audience. <laughs> I was ah, like, I know. I'm, I'm telling them she to really? clean. She, yeah, that's what she wrote down. Because the, there was actually two females. On the, I know. That's the <laughs> thing. I was like, no, there weren't. Okay, two that identify as female. Right, <laughs> right yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you talked to me after the show, um, and that was a pretty cool experience for me, actually. Of course it was. I don't know me if talking I... talking to anybody, I hate people. Well, it, it wasn't as I much as... a lot of things that I regret. <laughs> as much as who it was, uh, as much as it was what you said, because you basically came up and you said, hey, you got to <laughs> stop doing poop jokes, but you got the stuff, kid. That is basically what I gathered from it. You know, you're like that uh, yeah. uh, sleazy man who you're, comes up like, you're going to be a star. I didn't say oh, you got to stop doing poop jokes. I said you're better than poop Yes, jokes. that is what you, you said. I appreciate You got to do what well. you can do. Right. But I really regret having said anything. No, uh, no, I appreciated it. It meant the world. You, you kept me going. I don't care how you feel. <laughs> I, appre- I I really regret because I was really drunk and I didn't mean any of that. I was going to say he had and been now, drinking when he... Uh, you, you're <laughs> hanging your hat on that and that'll <laughs> yeah. get you nowhere. He, he whispered in my ear, you have the secret sauce. You I don't know what that means. I, I didn't talk to him for a little bit I've been bit after getting that. a lot of calls from places you've applied for jobs at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you recommend this kid? <laughs> Fuck no. <Yeah. laughs> he went first in the contest. How, if they don't like him at a contest... Comedy club, they're not going to like him here. Jeez. Right. Yeah. That's, but that's uh, no, you did uh, you did really good. And then uh, a couple of days later, I found out who you were. Yes. Uh, turns out I've known your dad for 30 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> your dad and my older brother are like best friends. Yes. Well, but your dad brothers. is my brother's best friend i don't know that we can go the other way i can't i can't imagine my brother being a good friend to anybody um yeah he's he's a horrible person he, he listens to this by the way i know he likes me i no actually he doesn't this is the thing you think he liked you scotty uh-huh you know what he did as soon as you left what he left you a bad yelp review oh that <laughs> fucker not yeah. not the show. On the you. Me. He Just put, me personally. He, he actually started a heading for Yelp. you oh, and gave you one star. Awesome. <laughs> That's Great. dedication. And he put in there, if I could give no stars, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Total loser. Boring. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thanks, Axel. Huh? Uh, but any, anything else about yourself? 
at all? Uh, I don't know. I, I think I did say I'm going back to Kansas City yeah, here. You um, I you got like a like a fucking the next like five days for you is going to be it's just going to be crazy. Yeah, because then I'm turning 24 on. I think it's Saturday this year too, which is by the way, be 24 gone. is a nothing birthday. I know it is. <laughs> it's, it's not like anything <laughs> monumental happens mm-hmm. at 24. Right. No, at 25, I can uh, rent a car. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's, so that's kind of what I'm shooting for. And once once that ends, I mean, I I'll probably jump off a bridge. Screw, I, just, screw I got the fact nothing you've else to got look forward to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> but when I fly places, I mean, whatever. Just but yeah, car, no. I, I mean, that's about it. I uh, I was originally planning to move to New York City at the end of my time in oh, well, that's Wichita. Yeah. Well, I have a buddy that lives out there who's going to let me stay with him and all that. And I actually still am planning to do that uh, to try to do some comedy stuff uh some acting stuff voice acting is another big one i want to get into um and so i'm probably going to try to i know i get lofty dreams for a guy who doesn't do shit he's 24 uh, yeah i know (laughs) honestly you guys i think you're going to have the market cornered in new york there's no other people trying to get into acting. (laughs) i know it's true yeah Yeah. and voiceover work that's why i'm not going to los angeles i wanted a place where i you know i could take the train Can can i give you a little more advice yes Comedy Cellar is a place there. You might want to check them out. In see if New you, York City? Yeah, see if you can uh, let them do your, your skit there. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. The yeast infection one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no. There's <laughs> ladies in the audience. Ah, I see. All right. I wonder if she thinks that's how you Dick get a yeast thing. infection. Yeah. Just by it's, men talking about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I'm getting itchier already. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, welcome in, Adam. Thank you, guys. Glad to have you. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, I, should I move on to my week, I guess? I'd love oh, to. Oh, yeah, because yeah. mine's action-packed. I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh-huh. um, so anyways, uh, this last week, uh, for those of you guys who did not pay attention last uh, last week's episode, uh, we are going on vacation. So uh, next week, you will have an episode, and let me say, it is a fucking masterpiece. Hmm. I spent... I'm on it? Yeah. So yeah, it is. Uh-huh. I literally spent, like, 12 hours going back through all of these great episodes of us doing the show and taking out little clips of each and every episode and just putting them all together and it fucking took forever so you made a best of oh yeah man that is really cool you know when i worked for the radio they would always tell me when i needed to do days off to put together a best of and i would always just take (laughs) the show i did before and just have it play the next day damn right (laughs) so i'm actually very impressed with that it would have been way easier yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. Scotty yeah. thinks people listen to this. <laughs> it's no. just me and Derek just go download it a whole bunch of times just to <laughs> make him feel better about himself. True. Hey, uh, Scotty, the my cooler with the beer in it is about a foot and a half out of reach. Could you get it? <laughs> no, get it your own. Fucking You're self. not doing anything. <laughs> I'm the pledge. I can yeah. do it. No, let Jeremy get it in mo- his own self. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to bend over and shit. <laughs> uh huh. Um, but, anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was waiting for the old man sounds. Oh! That blew me away. You gave me a heart palpitation, buddy. Holy shit. Call 9 1 and then. <laughs> wait a second. I'm going to see if this doesn't work itself out. Okay. Uh, okay you got I need me. a Turkish barber to pop my back. <laughs> I love those videos, by the way, those ASMR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the one guy who looks like a chubby Scotty. It's great. <laughs> uh, but so I did that. Um, Let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, so over this last week, I don't know if uh, if you guys remember, but we had a lot of snow come in uh, on Wednesday. Remember mm-hmm. that shit? Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. We had like I think it was like I did six six inches of snow. Um, so I went to. Uh, By the way, that's three in my car. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, I went into work, and uh, as I was getting out of my truck, I stepped on the curb, which was covered with ice, and fell and slipped on my ass. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And my uh, all right, I'll start going to church again. Yeah. <laughs> you've, I, I, you've answered my prayers, Lord. I ate shit, and I had my phone in my back pocket, and so I destroyed my fucking Ooh. phone. Mm. So that was a nice thousand dollar day. Look at that sleek, shiny new one. Though. Fuck, yeah, that's true. It's the same goddamn phone. <laughs> oh, when you take awful. it into the store to get the replacement, I'm assuming you had insurance. No, Jerry. Good. You have insurance um, on your phone. Yeah. What the fuck? What the yeah. hell is insurance? It's a bundle. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm When you go in to get that replaced, when they ask what happened, do you tell them just my badonkadonk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
No, I, I think uh, they knew very well in advance what the fuck happened. I wonder how many other fuckers like slipped and fell and damaged their goddamn I phone. I can't imagine anybody else being that stupid. Oh, probably fucking. their busiest day of the year. <laughs> yeah, They're looking forward shitty. to it, yeah. And then within 24 hours, that all of that snow and ice was fucking melted. Mm -hmm. We went from it like, wet. it went, went. what was it, like 14 degrees, and then that evening at one point it, it got to like, like 65 60. degrees. Yeah. Get fucked. That was crazy. Yeah, so I did that and uh, yeah, made the uh, Made the giant episode that you guys get to have uh, next week. So, but it's vacation time for me, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? Angel Fire, New Mexico. All right. Strapping myself to a uh, piece of wood and going down a mountain as fast as I fucking can. Not hitting any trees. I'm not going to send bono that shit. Is that a way to but, smuggle drugs across the border yeah. or something? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I am fucking excited. The worst That's thing awesome. about that whole trip, though, I, I shit you not. Have you ever driven through the panhandle of Oklahoma? Yes. Fuck that. It's, Fuck it. It's not even... Very long, but it, like that, what that like twenty five minutes, that thirty you minutes you spend in there is just awful. It's excruciating. Just <sighs> okay. Pretend that your car is a massage chair. That's all you have to do with that highway. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, it's a two lane oh, Oklahoma high highways are garbage. garbage yeah. Right? Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, that don't get any better when you get into fucking New Mexico. And you're out in the middle of the desert. When so in the fuck <laughs> can we take the new off of that? Yeah. It's, just it's, old. it's been around like 165 years yeah, or some shit. For it's, sure. Let's just call we gotta, it what we, it is. We got to call the other Mexico old Mexico then if right. we're going to change it. Absolutely. Yeah. I say we call it Mexico 2. Yeah. I, I like I, just, <laughs> electric no, boogaloo. Just fucking <laughs> junior. Let's just call it junior. Junior. Fuck it. <laughs> junior. <laughs> Um, but it is, it's the worst fucking drive. And once you get through the panhandle and you're going through, uh, New Mexico, it's an eight hour drive for, from here in four hours is legitimate. Like I, I remember one year where it was an hour and a half before I saw another human being out on the road. It was that desolate because nobody that wants to fucking go there. Fucking dream come true for me. <laughs> Did you go live you in the middle of uh, New Mexico? Do you know how much I would love to just not have to interact with people for ever? Sure. Mm. For sure. I completely understand. I would just get you a could bloody volleyball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I, I was going to say you should go live in Alaska. You can do that in Alaska. You That's my know what? cabin. No, See, me no, too, no, no, like no, but, no. Then, but then you said you'd bring a volleyball, and I was like, hey, you probably can't. It's it's hard to play volleyball in Alaska. It's, Trust okay, me. <laughs> okay, motherfucker, you don't know my volleyball skills. <laughs> you don't know what kind of game I'm bringing, all right? <laughs> yeah. Especially beach volleyball, but I can play hardcore volleyball. Mm -hmm. Maybe 30 I can play years hardcore ago. volleyball. Right. That's volleyball with guns. Now, whose uh, guns are you borrowing? Uh, Whatever, you know. <laughs> Dude, I'll wear a tank top. Sun's out, guns out. Here's the thing is, no, I should not go to Alaska. Everybody else should. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of room. I, I should get, not be inconvenienced America. in the least here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you, want, you want me to go? Jeremy, go. All right. Um, okay. I uh, didn't do a whole lot during the week. Uh, on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. <sighs> Sorry. What? Go ahead. <laughs> What are you fucking showing off? <laughs> we got a new kid in the fucking place, and now you're showing off. Yeah, he's uh, closer to my I'll age. Show off your he's, cool old man cool. vibes to the young, <laughs> yeah. young hipster here. Yeah, that's right. Probably in here smoking his ganja. He knows how. To, <laughs> <laughs> how did you know about that? Yeah, <laughs> I just assumed that's what all all you kids are on the pot. You're he all potted up on weed, young mm -hmm. lingo. Yeah, yeah. Can't help it, man. On, I have anxiety. All right? sitting there on your smartphones, <laughs> well, listening watching. to your. Your yeah. buds. Yeah. Watching TikTok. I watched a 30 minute video of a rusty axe getting restored today. Dude. I can watch that shit yes. all day fucking long. It was ha fantastic. Let me ask, let me ask oh. you this because you just piqued my fucking attention here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And the audience is just going down. Did yeah. they do it with like a grinder sander or did they use electrolysis? Uh, they did both. Really? Yes. Electrolysis is some badass shit. They, they started <laughs> with electrolysis, then took it out, then. Sanded, I, then sandblasted. Oh, it was just fucking oh, I amazing. Horny watching. Yes. I restored some. It was some, hot. I found some really nice old woodworking <gasps> tools at garage sales and shit that I've had to restore. And dude, 
they piss me off when I watch those videos because they make it look way easier than it yeah. really is. But, <laughs> but still, I want to get into electrolysis. And I can do your legs next, Scotty. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks, man. And your face. It. Yeah. Okay. I, I would love to hold your face under that water <laughs> and just shock the shit out of it. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen the guns? Like the actual guns that take rust and shit like that off? Yeah. I can watch that for hours. The ones that sandblast. Oh, the sandblaster. Them? Not sandblaster. I it's, thought you meant restoring guns. No, 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 no. It's like a it's it, it's like a laser that just actually takes I off. I have seen that. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Fucking cool. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. Jeremy. You go ahead. Uh, anyways, on Saturday, okay, we have this uh, tradition in my family where, like, once a year, we get together, big extended family. Beat the shit out of everybody. That's right. Yeah. And whoever's left, that's we get to carry on the family line. Perfect. Um, no, we uh we make our own sausage. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah. (laughs) So I'm I'm totally perfect old man. Restore old tools and make my own meats. (laughs) You look (laughs) like a butcher. I sure do. You throw an apron on, man, I'd be buying a half pound of salami for you. I was. I I was on I sure was on Saturday. (laughs) That's all he wears. It's just the apron. Just the apron. Nothing underneath it. Um, so anyway, I got to see some, uh, got to see some family doing that, um, out there where I'm from, which is about an hour and a half away. Uh, on the way back, I saw, I'm going to call it disturbing, something very disturbing. Uh-oh. Um, I'm driving along the highway and all of a sudden there's traffic backed up. Like I'm coming up on these cars hard and I had to slam on my brakes. And usually when that happens, there's a wreck mm-hmm. up there. And there was in a manner of speaking. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I get up there. I see flashing car lights. Okay. I see an ambulance. I see a horse trailer tipped over in the middle of the road, no. and I see a big pickup pulled over. I didn't see a horse in the trailer, uh-oh. but I didn't see one walking around either, so it might have been empty. Oh. I don't know. I can tell you this. That ambulance wasn't big enough <laughs> for a horse. <laughs> Yeah. And I don't know why there was an ambulance because apparently it seemed like the only thing that got damaged was the horse trailer. There was no shattered glass or none. He didn't run into a car. Just it's like his trailer came unhitched and then tipped Mm. over. The truck was pulled off to the side of the road. So it seems like those paramedics would be ill-equipped for the only one who could possibly be injured. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe Um, (laughs) maybe it was a holiday for veterinarians. So they had to call the people. They had to call the people doctors. Don't you know? send the ambulance. Send the big ambulance. Yeah, send the, the big b- one. Yeah. Yeah. The semi. <laughs> you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> the one on the trailer. <laughs> Make sure it's hitched. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> the ambulance tips over. On so the- <laughs> it's kind of one of those where I probably could have looked a little closer and figured things out a little more, but it was, I would rather <laughs> let my imagination go where it's going to go. Sure. So I got to see a horse get killed, <laughs> um, or as I like to call it, future glue. That's right. Uh, right. And then, okay, I want to bring up a little bit of a, a complaint that I have Uh-oh. with, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this company, Federal Express. Yes. Some people call it FedEx, because mm-hmm. that's what they call themselves now. Um, yeah. If you say I have a, a package coming, let's just throw out a, a date, say the 18th of February. Okay. And your tracking still shows it's in Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> Don't tell me it's going to be there by end of day. <laughs> you're lying, you motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what you're doing. And at the same time, don't surprise me all of a sudden on a Sunday afternoon by delivering it. <laughs> I'm in my underpants, <laughs> goddammit. Uh, I got a, a new uh, deal for my table saw, which is not neither here nor there. But what I will tell you is uh, it came with a manual. Like it should? Yes. And on the cover of the manual, it says, before using product, be sure to read manual thoroughly. And then it proceeds to give you directions on how to get a manual if you don't have one. (laughs) Great. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm going to get me another manual. (laughs) I just really feel like I could use a spare. Yeah, for sure. Um, Especially since it's a very self-explanatory thing. Um, Anyhow, so, and then I watched some TV shows. Yeah. I finished up Peacemaker. Okay. Very good. good. Is yeah. it? The first couple of episodes are absolutely hilarious. It tapers off a little bit, but overall, still, it's a pretty good, That's funny good story. I yeah. hate to say um, it, I, I, I'm kind of getting sick of John Cena. 
Not, oh. not John Cena. It's just seeing him in like everything, and it's like I thought he was great in Suicide Squad, and then I see well, this the show same character just, from Suicide. right, yeah, and then it's, I don't know. It's just like ah, okay, and then now he's also hosting uh, what is Wipeout on TBS. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Well, Jesus, with, what what do you think of the Rock? <laughs> God, you want to talk about Sony's and every fucking thing yeah, out there. Yeah, that's true. Dwayne Johnson hosting bullshit. You right. know what? Here, I, uh, yeah, I think it's more of just kind of like a, a right now thing. Sure. Yeah, like Pete Davidson. I can't stand that guy because he's <laughs> just everywhere. Yeah. And every single woman he fucks is someone I know would not have sex with me. And it just makes me like very like 100% angry, mm-hmm. you know? I'm kind of like, with you on that. Like, like way more angry than I should be. I'm about to make you feel really bad about yourself. <laughs> Good <laughs> because luck. we actually turned John Cena down to fill Derek's spot for this week. Yeah. As you guess, because I said, shit, we already asked Adam. <laughs> he's actually you, he's so actually. I here. didn't want to be rude. Yeah, he's in, in the room with he's, the kids. He's like, oh, my yeah. God. He's, yeah. There he is. Yeah, we chained him up. He was he's, the whole he's, time. He's actually kind of going to be the voiceover host for that best of episode <laughs> right. next week. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, let's see, I watched Peacemaker, I watched, I finished up Reacher. Okay, how was that? That's that's really good. Okay, With, okay. with uh, the guy from, from Blue Mountain State, right? That with, yes. Castle. With yes. the guy yeah. from Reacher. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know him from anywhere else. I can tell you this, that they make him look much bigger and more ripped on the show than he actually is. He's like 6'2 in real life, but they make him look 7 feet tall. Sure. On his show. Uh, the guy who plays Reacher? Yeah. Oh, they make him look huge in everything. I didn't know he was only 6'2". You've yeah. seen Blue Mountain State. Oh, right? yeah. He looks ginormous. Yeah, he I looks thought big. he was like 6'6". I, I mean, okay, in in the books, the character of Jack oh, Reacher is... Oh, I see. I, <laughs> I, I, I see what you're I, getting I, at. Now. I hadn't finished my statement. But in, <laughs> in the books of Jack Reacher... The character is six foot four, uh-huh. and yet everybody who sees him approaches him like he's this fucking giant. Yeah, I, Dan the man is six foot four. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> are six he, four. I go, yeah, you're tall. Yeah, but I don't sit there and go, Jesus Christ, look at that freak. Yeah. Well, not for his height, anyway. right? I mean, his face. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, Jeremy, who is not six foot four, or even close to that, for that matter. Me. Somebody I don't give a fuck about. Because <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I have a 6'3 and under rule. If you're under 6'3, <laughs> I don't care about you. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, God. But it, other than that, that, that was pretty well my week. You, um, you excited for Oak Island? Yeah. 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 They're putting, ca- they're putting caissons down into the ground now. You know, like they have every <laughs> fucking year. <laughs> are they oscillating them? Yeah. They sure are. Hammer grab? <laughs> yeah. Are you guys talking about like a TV show yeah. Yeah. here? I don't. There, there is I this, have sex. Okay, there, I don't know what you're talking about. There is the most worthless treasure hunting show of all time to the point with, where with they women? they have legitimately had the same shit <laughs> for the question. last nine years and haven't found a goddamn thing. It sounds like Sasquatch Hunter. Exactly. Okay. Imagine nine seasons of that shit. Yeah. 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And yet you guys are talking about it they like it's keep, the highlight they, of your they fucking find, week. They There's, find just enough shit to yes. keep you hanging on. How how old do you have to get when it's like a TV show that's going to be airing once a week that Sur- is what gets you excited? Surprisingly enough, 24. For. Fuck! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I got to go get some bitches like right now. Boom! Huh? In <laughs> fact, that's that's actually the first thing when you rent a car. That's the first question they ask you. <laughs> yeah. What did you think of Oak Island? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so How uh, long have you been watching uh, <laughs> treasure hunting shows? Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking great. If it's any less than 12 months, they will not rent you that car. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Anything or, else? Or they will take you down to a Datsun. Right. Anything else, Jeremy? No, Scotty. No? I already okay. said that's all I did. I have a quick Go for uh, question slash statement slash thing to point out. Uh, Scotty, you know, I don't mean to like kind of be a whistleblower here. Sure. You have a, you have a PlayStation 5, don't I you? I fucking do. You have a PlayStation all 5. All three no, of us that normally three. are on this show do. You want to know something fucking crazy? That's why crazy? we get so much pussy. That's I right. also have a PlayStation 5. Yeah? I paid way extra for it. Oh, and okay. actually, I was, I was at, the reason I was pointing it out is because I wanted to ask you how you ended up getting your hands on it. Just uh, real quick. Amazon Prime, one click. And you, you got it I got in. It. Yeah. Man. I followed that fucker that like sends out tweets and shit <sighs> like that, and he gives you a heads up like 15 minutes. I, I should have done that. Yeah. How about you? I didn't want to say this out loud, but since you asked and put me on the spot, <laughs> I got mine free from Trophy Smack. Oh! <laughs> you lucky yeah. son of a bitch. Yep. I, uh, yeah, I got, they gave Scotty a belt. They gave me a I PS5. <laughs> I think I, they like me a little better. Um, Probably. I got my tax return back. 
And, you know, it was however much. Sure. I don't remember. It, like upwards of like two grand because I hadn't gotten some of my stim- stimulus checks either. Sure. So I had like a good amount of money and I was like, screw this. I'm not waiting. I can't do this anymore. So I went on and I finally talked the guy down to 750 That was the lowest I could go. <sighs> but I went and I got that. He had like an extra controller and stuff. To okay. So it was, you know, he okay. threw in some stuff to make it okay. worth it. But anytime I see one, it, it's a... It's Almost like a unicorn. You know, oh, totally. it's so hard to actually find one in real life. I'm really having a hard time differentiating what it can do that the PS4 couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's maybe the most infuriating thing to me about it. I've been playing PS4 games on it lately yeah, yeah. You, because I can't same. tell the difference. Same. You, the controller is better... <laughs> Only if you yeah. play only uh, if you play PS5 I have, games. I have two controllers. One of them is rendered useless. You <laughs> have to play PS5 games for it to actually be anything. N- no, I have my, the one that came with it has like a permanent drift. <laughs> oh, that it. sucks. Yeah, it does. send it back. Oh no, you got it for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you deserve that shit. I mean, I, I bought a second one that that one fortunately still works. But yeah, the other one, like I can't even get onto it because it will constantly. As soon as I bring the screen up and it wants me to select which profile, mm-hmm. it flips over. My to the PS4 next one. one did fun that for a fun while. fact, though, we we talked about this before. These on are never this fun show. or usually factual. Go uh-huh. ahead. Uh, you can actually take your remote control, your, your uh, PS5 controller, with you into a bar downtown called Vorshe's, mm. and you will immediately get into a threesome. Mm-hmm. Like immediately while walking through the door. That is that is your serious? welcome to oh, a yeah. threesome. Why, uh, I need I need more information than yeah. this. Yeah. G- no. g- give me just a tad. You bit don't more, need like more walk. information. Mm-hmm. You walk into that. You flash it around like it's a stack of hundreds. Threesome. And Boom. Here comes two chicks. Yep. Like I, I know this is comedy, but I, I might try this. So I need you guys <laughs> to be serious with me here. Make sure oh, somebody follows you with their phone. Let, I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> get this on video. Get this on video, please. <laughs> Just to cover our ass, Adam. It will not. I can't guarantee that it will get you into a threesome. It won't hurt you yeah, to get it, into it won't a hurt threesome. It, it like, won't downgrade like, your chances. It's like flashing a Rolex. You yeah. know, it's like, holy sure. shit. That yeah. guy, okay, mm-hmm. that's it. All right. Well, we do need to get to the sports part of the episode. But before we do that, I wanted to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is manscaped.com. Um, That's right, Adam. I don't know if you're old enough to have hair down there, mm-mm. but uh, one of these days you're head. probably gonna, <laughs> and uh, one of these days you're gonna be interested in women. That's maybe. right. I am, or, or or men. Either one. Either one. They don't like uh, a lot of hair down there. They don't want a bushy. I'll mm-mm. tell you what. I was way too afraid to shave my balls until Manscaped. Yes. Um, I. Oh, yeah, are you I, on the on the train? I was. Uh, I was 23 when I just started shaving. You still so are. You still are 23. <laughs> Uh, did what's your point? <laughs> I'm 23. When I'm I married to an Asian. I do there. math real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rubs off on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Manscaped and is that great. Fake tan actually. that they have. Yeah. <laughs> what pubes are you shaving? You got like peach fuzz on your scrot right no, now. No. Uh, well, there's Jeffrey. There's, uh, <laughs> you got to name him. Joshua over nice. there. <laughs> nice. No, they do. They have excellent. They have an, the best product to, to shave your your balls. Or I mean, they say from hole to pole, don't they? Right. They do say that. Yeah. From um, crank to stank. Does that mean that's my what asshole? we say? Yeah. Okay, because I haven't been doing that, but you I need could. to do that. They need mm-hmm. like a special one for it. I, I'm not trying to go in blind, you know. I mean, seriously though, like the worst thing, dingleberries, man. Oh, they are. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. No. But I don't know if I'd want to be shaving my asshole in the shower and then like three or four dingleberries just fall on down. You know, like I'd rather do that <laughs> yeah. elsewhere. I don't well, know. And it's got that uh, nice you LED don't have to light do it in the shower. Yeah, yeah. M- maybe try to just wipe. More, yeah, first, yes, and then go from there, but yeah, no, I guess. Uh, sure. actually, I have a video coming out next week on YouTube <laughs> where I'm using my uh manscape to uh remove the rust off an axe handle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, holy shit, I gotta watch that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm not gonna oh, say God. how whether it does or does not work, I can tell you this the axe head does not get cut up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Uh, but they do have the lawnmower 4.0, excellent product, that's right? They have uh, it has the LED light that's now adjustable, adjustable. oh, yeah, so Ooh. now you don't. Blind the fuck you out probably of got a three like we, we do. Yeah, where I mean, it's yes. it's like looking right into a searchlight, mm-hmm. the sun when you're driving mm-hmm. west. Uh, yeah, in Kansas, <laughs> yes, they've exactly. actually taken their surplus of three and they've actually started mounting them to cop cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so but, they can search for criminals and whatnot. Right, 
Uh, but they do have the lawnmower 4.0. They've got tons of other products. My uh, favorite product is the weed whacker. That's for your nose hairs and your ears hairs. Uh, those are annoying as fuck. Mm. So get a weed whacker. That's great. Yeah. Um, but they also are now are coming out with body wash and shampoo. They have the crop cleanser. They've, they've actually had those out for a while. Yeah, they've had. You keep saying they're coming out. Yeah, right you know. You're, um, you're behind the times, German. Even some nice. The kid knows that. Right. <laughs> even some, He's up on the latest lingo. <laughs> even some nice, comfortable underwear that. I can fit in, but uh, Derek yeah, and Jeremy can't. Yeah, they sent me and Derek things. large. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't fit his leg in one of them. I was so grateful for the PS5 that I didn't even. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually sent my underwear into Trophy Smack just right. to say thanks for the PS5. Yeah. Um, it's used. And they have excellent cologne. Oh, right, sure do. Yeah. Oh, refined. Refined. It's an excellent product. But go and check all of their products out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That helps you out. It helps us out. And it lets Manscaped know that we're actually reading these commercials word for word. Mm -hmm. And they leave this us alone. This is exactly how <laughs> this is they what scripted it. This it. is way scripted. I, it. I, I found there. it to be highly inappropriate. Uh, yeah, you know. They like us. They're cool. I mean, rust off an axe? Honestly? Yes. How'd they know that was going to come up? I don't know. I didn't want to use the term balls but yeah. they made me exactly yeah. no they they talk balls a lot <laughs> right. Right. well check them out at manscaped.com all right well for the little fucking sports that we have <laughs> sure why not um i guess the thing that uh, most people were talking about sports related is the fucking nba all-star game i thought we were gonna talk sports yeah exactly does anybody give a fuck no I watched, I like, I, just because of, we do this mm -mm. show, I watched the, a little bit of the highlights of it. I, I don't know which one's worse now. The NBA All-Star Game or the Pro Bowl? It, 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 there's no effort being given on either part. They are just really wastes of time. They're such shameful money grabs is yeah. all that they no, are. No, it really is. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, even the slam dunk contest was weak. Yeah. I mean, who, it, that who used to out? mean something. Yeah, who walked out? I think who, it was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar actually walked out during the dunk contest. This year? This year. Oh, my God. The guy actually known I didn't for watch not the full dunking. Thing. I, I probably watched, like, five minutes of it. I just got bored. Yeah. I was like, this just is not entertaining, yeah. you know? Um, I, I think All-Star Games in general, All-Star Game, Pro Bowls, whatever, I, they've all been kind of losing meaning over the years. Uh, I... I hate to bring up a different sport, but with the MLB All Star Game, a lot of people will say, "Yeah, that this yeah is we a don't good talk thing. baseball on here." Yeah, no baseball. <laughs> we are gotcha, not baseball gotcha. people. No. Well, they they took it and they it was originally like how they were going to decide who got home field advantage yep. for the yep. World Series. Now, I thought that was cool. That, I did too. That, okay, no, they originally of, didn't. That was what yeah. they fine. They threw added in. it in there, but yeah. it gave it meaning. Okay, and I'm yeah. not saying that it needed to stay that way. You know, like it, I'm sure there were issues with it, and that's why they changed it. But I think they should have had it mean something else. Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't know anything something. specifically, it, but it just, yeah, it makes it more, I don't know. You know when it gritty, really real. meant something was when it was fueled by the, the most wonderful thing of all, hate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it, one league hates the other. Right. Or one, one conference, one whatever, hates the other. And even though they hate all the people on their team, they'll pull it together for that one game because it's even worse how much they hate <laughs> the other the guys. Other guys. Yeah. yeah. Yep, uh, I I agree with you. Uh, but I, it, but it was now so it's bad. all friendly and what it, what was it? Team LeBron and Team Durant or whatever. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah really that, you're care. not even doing <laughs> conference against conference at that point. Yeah, it's it's just it's a waste. Uh, I, Take three days uh, off. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> and keep our regular TV programming the way it was. Right. right. I, I was. I mean, kinda, you're already fucking things up with the Olympics. Right. <laughs> I, I will say this, though. I was pumped because I'm a diehard Wichita State fan. Fred Van Vliet made his first All-Star game. Yes. That was cool. That is super cool. I didn't watch him play any of it, but fuck. I'm sure he did a fine job. He there. did a great job. Uh, but anyways, moving on, let's get to, um, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, we had some, uh, some uh, fight break out at the end of a college basketball game. Did you see that shit? No? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen the highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch that actual game. Mm -mm. Yep. The University yeah, of Michigan yeah. head coach Jawan Howard strikes Wisconsin assistant uh, coach Joe. I don't even know his name. <laughs> Cap Krabenhoff. Krabenhoff. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> uh, after the game, if uh, you haven't seen this, it says strikes um, this person. No. He well, yeah, fucking normally. Yeah. 
he was going after. Normally, him. he's a Pow. ground and pound kind of guy, right? right. Yeah. And so him striking at all is really caught everybody off guard. Yeah, he's really. been taking karate lessons. I can tell you that much. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that looked bad. It did look man. bad. Um, and I mean to do that while the cameras are still rolling. Yeah. And, oh God, what the, are you? Thinking. The I, thing is, is that he was going down the line, shaking hands. You could tell he was pissed off because Wisconsin did kind of pull a, a bush league move, calling a timeout w- with under a minute to go when they're up by 15. But something about that assistant coach, I don't know if he said something or did something or whatever, but that's what set Juwan Howard off. He didn't go after the head coach. He went after the assistant. And something was obviously said and I'm going to guess it was in poor taste. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Because <laughs> if anybody knows what poor taste is, it's me. Right. I, I've made an art of poor taste. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of dig these, though. I think we need to start having more of these. You know, brawls yeah. after the game. The oh, Big Ten, man. See, the, the Big Ten came in and said, you know, they don't like this kind of thing. Bullshit. I no, think this is great. So oh, God, they're false. getting so much free publicity out Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. So friggin' Lutely. No, 100%. I, that, that's why I like hockey, man. And that's why <laughs> Wayne Gretzky makes me so upset. Because Wayne Gretzky, one of the greatest hockey players of all time, says that there shouldn't be fights in hockey. And I hate that. Because... I think it just makes it so much more entertaining. It's yeah. more fun that way. It's like way, he doesn't you know? even know about hockey. I yeah. know. And he's like one <laughs> he, of the best of all he time. He is hockey. Yeah. And he, he's got no idea. It's it, crazy. Is he, is he really, though? Because from what I understand, there was like a hands-off clause with him. Oh, I don't know. Like if, if you would have checked him real hard into the, into the boards, the whole other team would have come after you. There would have really? been rain down hell. Yeah, basically, he's our golden boy. You don't touch him. Yeah. I think, I guess that's And he fair. didn't start shit with anybody. So. Right. God, he was, he was a stud, that's though. That's fair, then. Yeah. Well, yeah, anybody could be a stud when there's no fucking repercussions, <laughs> when nobody's going to hit you. Yeah. Right. I mean, I couldn't. I can't ice skate. <laughs> right. Maybe I can. Hey, maybe. Um, Are I you going to take some ice skates up on that mountain? Yeah. I'd like to see that. Sure. I'd like to see you skate <laughs> down. You bet. Just one time. Take some rollerblades up there. <laughs> okay, sure. You should just live stream that while the podcast plays. Yep. The best of. I, I, I tell you what. I, I have seen not ice skates up there. I have now started to see bikes. I've seen. I've heard about this. <laughs> I, okay. I, I've been snowboarding since I could walk. Like I, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I am no slouch. And whenever I'm snowboarding, I generally am trying to go as fast as I fucking can. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's like drinking to get drunk. Exactly. You're doing it for a reason. I'm hauling ass. Yeah. um, Right. And there was a guy on one of these fucking bikes without wheels. They just have skis Mm -hmm. instead of wheels. God. This dude passed me like I was fucking standing still. (laughs) Like hauling ass. Just boom. On your left. (laughs) Yeah. Like I st- and I started going down the mountain before that guy. Yes. He just come just blazing right by me. <laughs> well, he was Son. pedaling really hard though. <laughs> yeah, there's no pedals. <laughs> was just was he wearing that that really thin shit that Lance Armstrong gear with yes. the fucking helmet? That's why he streamlined. Abs- <laughs> absolutely. Speaking of which, uh, he also probably only had one testicle. Yeah, probably that's right. <laughs> but speaking of which, Derek actually sent something to me today. I don't know if he, you you guys saw this, but in regards, I didn't realize to, you had Derek's number. Yeah, he won't give it to <laughs> me. <laughs> he sent this to me there was a cross-country skier wearing that kind of material that you're talking about the bicycle yeah. deals yeah a cross-country skier suffers unbearable frozen penis at winter olympics oh <laughs> god yeah he said when the how body, do they know it's unbearable <laughs> well, <laughs> and i quote he said when the body parts started warming up after the finish or uh, after the finish the pain was unbearable oh god yeah because it goes <laughs> he said it goes numb and then when just anything that gets really cold like that goes numb and yes. then as it comes back there's Pins and needles. Oh, yes. yeah. it, it, and it, so it's it, like getting acupuncture it, on your dick. It sounds like the time I put uh, Icy Hot on there. You it, did that? It, listen, dude. I did that because I was not told as not bad. to. Oh. And I was going through my rebel phase. Oh, sure. So I was like, fuck you, mom and dad. I'm going to do what I want. And so I did it. <laughs> I know your mom it, and dad. That's a good I thing had to say. To, yeah, and I, I had to get into the shower at like 3 a.m. <laughs> and I scared the shit out of my friend who was like staying the night. He's like, oh, my God, are you okay? Like, do we need to go to the hospital? Oh, uh, good. Oh, Honestly, I don't. When I did it, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> See, yeah, I, I might have put too much on there. I yeah. lathered it on. Oh, you know? okay. Like, yeah. I was, so I was, it was <laughs> like your dick was sprained. I was slapping it, yeah. That's fucking great. <laughs> 
it was, it was dick day at the gym, so you really needed to have it limbered <laughs> yeah. up. It was sore, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, we're coming. We're coming to the end. Uh, we just had the end of uh, football um, over this last couple of weeks. Thank God. No, it's the worst time whenever there's no football. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, but, oh, you, uh, you like you're a football fan. Oh, I love football. <laughs> See, I'm um, more of a tennis guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would be because you can't win in fantasy football anymore. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, anyways. Do I uh, play real football, Dick? No. Okay. Um, Why not? I, but speaking wanna, of, I brought, speaking of real I football, football I, 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 thought, uh, I thought of this, and I actually saw this and confirmed this. Um, fun fact. Of the active quarterbacks in the NFL right now, who has the most Super Bowls? Of the actives? Actives. Uh, we're considering Tom Brady an inactive. inactive. Correct. Um, Which he may come I back. I am going to say Pistol Pete Maravich. Yeah. Is it really? <laughs> no. Oh my God! That was <laughs> seriously. He that, made it. You were leaving too much dead air. He yes. had to say something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going through all of them, and I don't know. But give me a second. Come back to me on this. <laughs> yeah, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll talk. Over yeah. Here. No. No kidding. Yeah. So I read it. Yeah, <laughs> and I had this? seen it before. I mean, it, it makes sense when you makes, think about it. Yes, exactly. But like at first glance, you're sitting there, you're like, "What? Yeah, uh, huh? Yeah, him? Really? Yeah." yeah. Um, Still, should we should we try to like talk about him like without saying the name so he, sure, he sort sure. of gets I'm it? Not so listening. do you think he's is he he's not a free agent right now? Right? Yeah, he's getting ready to be. Yeah, he is this offseason. Yeah, he, okay. Either that or there. Well, I don't think he's a free agent. I think they're they're trading him. They, they okay, are, so he's getting, not a free agent this season. Correct. But, so I think he's only got one more year left on his contract. Right. And it, there were talks of them trading him this year, but I don't think the guy that they brought in to fill in. I actually talked about this on my show with Felix on the mm-hmm. press box. Yeah. Back when I said. I think that that was a good pick. I think the guy has phenomenal potential. Yep. I don't think he's going to be ready for a while. I don't either. And if they were cool with, uh, you know, their this guy, yeah. who has the most nah, wins fuck it, now. Why not? It's Jimmy. It's, it's it's Jimmy G, if baby. They're cool with him sticking around. I was going to say that. God damn it! Yeah, <laughs> couldn't it? You're taking a while <laughs> yeah. over there. If they were he was a Patriots backup. Yes, yes. If they okay. were cool with him sticking around for the whole year, which they ended up being, yeah. then I thought, okay, then that's fine. You need to give Trey Lance a year. Felix kept telling me, no, Trey Lance is going to be ready in like three weeks, and Bullshit. I was like, no, the guy first up hadn't played in like a year and a half yeah. before the season started. And the last time he had played was fucking uh, uh, where we, Carson went school, right? Uh, North Dakota State. North, yeah, Dakota North Dakota State, State yeah. yes. And so I was just like, I feel like there's a gap between, a larger gap between someone who went to, say, Alabama and someone who went to North Dakota State between oh, the NFL. And I think that that's why, well, part of the reason why that and Bill Belichick, that Mac Jones was able to go out and at least look good enough. Yeah, you know? sure. I think he was closer to being ready. Than Trey Lance is even currently. I don't know though. I, the thing is though, when your team <coughs> trades up for a number three overall pick yep. mm-hmm, and drafts him, win, lose, or draw, that's got to be your guy. Yeah. I you, agree. You, as a as a general manager, you have put all your nuts in that basket, right? I don't. If it's going to make or your, eggs, whatever it, you prefer, nuts, eggs, whatever. If eggs. you're gonna lose more games, you ever have a nut egg omelet? Yeah. <laughs> If you're going to lose more games, I would rather have uh, the new guy on the bench. If, if, if he's going to come in and lose more games, which I guarantee would have happened if yeah. the 49ers started him since the beginning of the year or the, even a few weeks afterward. Trey Lance is just not ready. He I might agree. No, he's, he's not. He I might agree. be now. I don't know. But, but, but at the same time, how do you keep that guy on the bench for a second year? Right, and that's where it gets different. Because you're why, paying Garoppolo a fuck ton of money. That's right. why they need to trade him. The problem, was, or the problem is, is that they tried to trade him last season, too, and they were asking for a first overall pick. They, they were asking too it. much. Yeah, and you got to try and get obviously. that number three pick back that you wasted That's on Trey Lance. That's exactly right. And they almost made it to the Super Bowl under Jimmy G. There you now, go. Now, granted, he did kind of lose the game at the very end, yes. but, it, you know. The dude is a really good game manager. Yes. yes. He can win games. That's mm-hmm. the thing I like about Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't know that he's, like, the elite talent you need to be a regular Super Bowl contender. Yeah. But... He, he won't can, lose you the game. He can get you to the playoffs just about every single season. Although he, and I think that that's really Although cool. he did lose the game. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then well, that happened, no, his yeah. team lost. But, I mean, and yes, it, ultimately he threw an interception at the end, right? Yeah. But they were still right there in it because he didn't make dumb decisions. Sure, sure. 
Uh, I guess mo- a team that they probably shouldn't have been. Right. <laughs> uh, moving on, former Dolphins head coach Brian Flores will join the Pittsburgh Steelers as the defis- or defensive assistant and linebackers coach. Um, good for him. I like Brian I Flores. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, he obviously is suing the NFL uh, and a couple of other teams. So for, am I, though. Yeah, Can exactly. I, yeah. <laughs> for, especially for being racist. Dude, I have declared eligible for right. the draft yeah. for the last 25 years. Yeah. So, and so. they have not once even looked Can at I, me. I don't even get to go to the <laughs> – I try to go to the Combine every year, yeah. and they won't let me You're not run. On the list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're fat shaming Yeah, they're basically – it's like a fucking bouncer there at with the velvet rope. You could sue for that in a heartbeat I and should, get away because they're it. like, we need more hot chicks in here. <laughs> Here's yeah. – uh, Here's one thing I didn't really like about that real quick. Yeah. Um, Brian Flores, uh, who did the Dolphins hire? I don't remember. Lovey? Nor- oh, Le- no, no. Lovey Smith was uh, Houston. He- That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. So Lovey Smith went to Houston, um, and Houston was interviewing Brian Flores. He, okay? he was promoted internally because uh, Lovey Smith was already working for Houston. Gotcha. But yeah. they were also interviewing Brian Flores yes. for the role. Yes. They- and uh, they ended up giving it to Lovey Smith. Yep. Um, Brian Flores, through his uh, attorney, releases a statement, and he says, I'm very happy that there is a black head coach in the NFL, but the reason I didn't get the job is because of this suit. That's what he said. That was his statement. No shit. I swear to God. He comes out and he goes, the reason I didn't get it is because I'm suing. So that's what I really didn't like. I was like, okay, dude, you got to pick your battles here. You know, you got to. I don't like that he likes that there's a black head coach. (laughs) See, but in that, you know what? And that, I'm totally okay with. That's unacceptable. Fine, whatever. But then for him to go. Next thing you know, they'll be letting him vote. But then. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. So but, terrible. but then he goes. Have but, fun with your job application. But <laughs> that, but that black head coach was not as good of a candidate as I was. That's where I'm like, okay, dude, is this even really about what you're saying it no. is, or are you just trying to get yourself a job and trying to whine to get yourself there? You know, and I'm not trying to say that that's what he's doing, but it's hard to tell the when he can't he, even be happy for Lovey Smith. Sure. I, well, no, he said that he's happy. Yeah, hey, oh yeah, he's happy. I mean, he but said it. I, I mean, if he, he wouldn't have said it if, if it's not true. That's bullshit. <laughs> that is bullshit. People don't say things if it's not true. I told you you were skinny about three days ago. I know. <laughs> Dude, I've been walking around shirtless ever since. I know. And um, that and my PS5 controller can get me so much puss. <laughs> But there's that. I've been getting a lot of horn honks because <clears throat> yeah. I do it outside. Yeah, because apparently it snowed. Right. So my nips are really yeah, sticking. You're rubbing out. your nipple with, uh-huh. the, with the PlayStation <laughs> controller my for sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, moving on, uh, they dropped this, this hit stick. Right. They they dropped this uh, fun fact. Uh, the NFL and the XFL are going to be partnering. The XFL will test out new equipment, new rules, and officiating for the NFL. So they're guinea pigs. This is Correct. yes. They are. Uh, I feel like the NFL is just moving in a direction where if a player's not doing so hot, instead of sending him to training camp, they're going to start sending him down to the XFL. You know, it's just going to be minor leagues. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's actually the case. <laughs> I've always thought that would be kind of cool if the yeah. NFL had a sort of minor league. I, I, They've already got a, a free one. Yeah. In yeah. the college system. That's true. <laughs> well, that's a good point. Aren't they? Isn't it's there a great supposed, point? Don't is, sell me short. Isn't there another Sorry. league too? The USSFL or something? They're like? getting ready to start the, the USSFL USSR? back up, which was a league in the early 80s. Yeah. And oh, I don't care. didn't do good then. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it'll do good now. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll work right, this time. right before COVID. Didn't they actually come out? It wasn't the XFL. There was one other fucking one that came a- out. The AAFL? So, so, yeah, the, the one that went That's under because they couldn't make payroll after six weeks <laughs> or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. They yeah. had one, just like what the XFL did the first time they went around. Right. They had excellent TV ratings the first week, and it. To call it a steady decline oh, okay. would be an overstatement. It was like jumping off a cliff. Okay, so yeah, it did. Yeah, People yeah. watched it and went, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we just got. Well, I'm never doing that again. We just got done watching the absolute best football that you possibly could with the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, Let's this see is what's bullshit. on the XFL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it was. Yeah, you got to do it beforehand. It was I the, feel like it was the AAF. I remember it the now. AAF, it, it was where, that's where, awful. Where the best guy in that league wasn't quite good enough. <laughs> was the AAF the one where you could call the plays for him? 
I don't remember. There was no, that's, one league that's where Madden. you could do it. No, <laughs> no. There was a league where I swear to God fans would come in, and I shouldn't swear to God in case this is fake news, but they'd come in, and I'm pretty sure on their phones they had an opportunity to say like what play they wanted next, oh, and God, whoever voted for it bad idea. the most. Oh, it's terrible. I because, think, I mean, if you're a... a a They're, troll, yeah. like you're going to fuck yeah, with. Like, like, First yeah, down, putt. Putt head, putt head, yeah. Now, or if you're home. I know that they were doing that with, like, baseball when there weren't any fans in the audience. They were letting people, like, text in with what their reactions would be, whether to cheer or boo. Yeah. And I that's what they would, ah, that's what they would that. play over yeah, the, the loudspeakers. Yeah, I remember that. All right, and last, uh, last thing before we get on to real shit or horse shit. Um, Jesus, how long are we into this show? <laughs> pretty long, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Pat- Shut up, Adam. <laughs> yeah, Pat- <laughs> go home now. I got bitches. <laughs> Patrick, no, right. I don't. <laughs> God damn it. Patrick Mahomes sat down Brittany and Jackson and told them not to come to any home games for the Kansas City Chiefs next season. <laughs> and Woo! no resting bitch face. And no resting bitch yeah, face. Yeah, he told her for that Brittany. at center court of a Texas Tech basketball now, game. Now, <laughs> now, that one that, I believe. That did happen. That yeah, one I, I believe. He, now, he came out and said that he did not tell them to not come. Um, yeah, I've heard that that story is uh, fake news. I've it, heard rumors, and I've heard sure I've is. heard both. I, the 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 source that that comes from is a source that relies a lot on hearsay and other people's <laughs> tweets and shit. But I came up with it. Yeah, but I'm I'm willing it to be <laughs> yeah, true. Adam, Adam's blog. So, is where so we got. yes, we all want it to be true. What uh, what what NFL team are you guys? Uh, he's a Chiefs fan. I don't have it. I'm not. Yeah, well, are I, you an I, NFL I, fan, though? Yes. Okay. Diary. I'm going to officially declare that next year I will not be. Oh. So okay. long as Andy Reid is still coaching that team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair I, enough. I did it for a season before, and I will do it again. I swear to God, Chiefs. <laughs> and d- d- seriously, I'll hold you fucking hostage with my fandom. <laughs> I buy upwards of three T-shirts a year. <laughs> you don't want that <laughs> extra cash rolling in? <laughs> Fine. Um, yeah, look, I, I don't know. I think... Uh, I think that people give Brittany now Jackson. I think kind of deserves shit. Oh, I, I can't sure. stand this kid. He's so fucking annoying. I don't think he needs to not come to the games. I think he needs to stop being a little shit. Oh. He needs to stop acting like he's a top dog in town because his brother is Patrick Mahomes. Brittany, I think, is cunt. a woman, cunt. and I think uh, you mispronounced cunt. Well, here's the thing, NFL fans. Uh, here's a fun fact about them: they don't uh, respect women. Oh, you see, and so anytime they there's have bre- a woman on screen, they have breast cancer awareness okay. month. They oh wear, yeah, they wear pink yeah. gloves. <laughs> uh, yes. I, I guess I I'm not an NFL fan because I respect the fuck out of women. And sure you do, <laughs> Jeremy. Mostly uh, their boobs, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I, you know, and I'm not making any points like that. What I'm basically saying is, I think like a lot of people, I think a lot of people see her as annoying because she's a woman. Okay, I don't know. I just think she she's, threw champagne on the fans. Yeah. If you were a Chiefs fan and Brittany Mahomes is showering me in champagne, why the fuck would I complain about that? Because that was cold. not a price. That's so free champagne. Fucking <laughs> what? The Chiefs just won. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, it's free champagne. I think that people give her what way if you go through a DUI time. checkpoint on your way home. But uh, she yeah, just okay, fucks a fair. lot of people. Now I didn't think about that. No, you didn't, because you're a fucking young, stupid kid Brittany, you who bitch. doesn't think about the consequences <laughs> of your actions. I do drink and drive. Uh, there you go. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Oh, so you know how hard it is. Before this episode takes two hours, <laughs> uh, we're gonna move on to real shit or horse shit. So first one, real shit or horse shit. The NBA All Star Game is better than the Pro Bowl. I'm just going to go with shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I agree. I like that. It is, well. it is just a huge pile of shit. If you, if you right. took one pile of shit and the other pile of shit and swept them together, you would just have a big pile of shit. I like e- that. Equal, yeah. Separate but equal shit. That's like where that. we're at. The right. trick question here. Just shit. Yep. Yeah, it's just shit. All right. I agree. <laughs> All right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit? The college football playoff should have more than four teams. Today they voted, and uh, they're going to keep it with four. Real shit. Uh, fuck them for <laughs> voting that. Oh, yeah. uh, look, I don't care if Alabama wins it every year. I only care if Alabama wins it every year and nobody else has a fucking chance. That's yeah, what gonna... I want. And here's the thing. Yeah, if, they, if Alabama you know they or... Georgia, that's true. But if Alabama, Georgia, Clemson, yeah, Clemson maybe in the future again, if they come in and they start winning every year, but there's 12 teams, there's 16 teams, I'm going to feel a lot better about it. Because I'm going to say, sure. well, 
they had a chance sure. to beat Alabama, and I feel like it will happen eventually. I hope so. You know, there's going to be one crazy upset where K State takes down Alabama that first be an round. That, 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 that never gonna happen. And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> never gonna fucking happen. A boy can dream. Yeah, I know. Uh, I th- I think this is real shit. We've talked about this on the show before. Uh, even to p- move it to six, which is very very doable, it doesn't add. Uh, but but a week to the schedule, whenever for the um, you know the final four games, whenever they happen, they're the these teams are like sitting and waiting weeks before they get right. to do them. So what about you, Jeremy? I'm going to go with horseshit, and I'll tell you why. Uh, you because you already talking. have NFL prospects sitting out bowl games That's true. and postseason. That's so you're true. really not getting the best of the best anyway. That's true. You're, you know, they're already complaining that that's an extra game mm-hmm. going through the playoffs is an extra game to get hurt when they've right. already got their future determined for them. So, yeah, but then it, why it's don't great you just... for the fans, but it's not going to be good for the players. And unfortunately, this rules committee looks out for the best interest of the players and their futures in the NFL, which is, let's face it, what they're there to do. Sure. All right. Uh, Let's see. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. Women's college softball is more entertaining than the NBA. (laughs) I don't know that it's any less entertaining. (laughs) Even read this one. I like a ponytail (laughs) and a visor. Sure. Yeah. I am equally sexually attracted to both of those mm. groups. Yeah, so, sure. I mean, as they you. Really <laughs> <get> that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, I think this NBA is, players and women softball players are both into chicks. I, <laughs> I think that I think this is too much. I, I think the NBA is still more entertaining than women's softball. That I, that one's harsh. <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> like, it's, that's pretty rough. Yeah, it sounds like someone who. Hates the NBA. Yeah, game yeah. I, I, I think this that's uh, that's horseshit. I watch about as much of too. either one. Yeah, you know, anymore. Anyway, I can't stand the NBA. It just such such a bunch of fucking whiny, bitchy crybabies who yeah. don't want to play defense and fuck them. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with that too. I wouldn't watch either of them. How about that? Perfect. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, next one. Jawan Howard will be fired for his actions after the Michigan versus Wisconsin game. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's real shit. They, <laughs> oh, I think that's easy real shit, to be honest. I, I don't think they have a choice, really. I mean, like, they do, but they're going to view it as if we don't fire this guy, then we're holding on to the guy that struck someone else. I Again, while the I, cameras were there. I know. Man. I know. Here's the thing. You did it against a league rival, mm-hmm. and I think Michigan people kind of like that. <laughs> sure. It, it, they that's hate fair. Wisconsin. Uh, no, that that, that might make them think this is a fucking Michigan man through and through. He played there. He, you know, This is a guy who's really going to fucking do whatever it takes well, to make this team win. And it's the alumni. Meaning loss. It, right, but it's the alumni who are going to have a lot of final say with yeah, that, too. Right. The ones who are paying the bills there. And if they thought to themselves, that's fucking hilarious. I want to keep this guy I mean, around. he's already one of the you most beloved know. Basketball players in Michigan history, anyway, Correct. as part of the Fab Five. Yeah, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I think this is horseshit. I think they do not fire him. I would a hundred percent say, you know, ha- Michigan's going to come out and say we're going to send him to counseling. He's going to be suspended for four games, yada yada yada. But I don't think they're going to let him go. Send him to counseling. Yeah, counseling. Yeah, anger they, they, management they, classes. Exactly. They do that help. bullshit, and it'll make the public appearance thing go a lot smoother. She's crazy, Jeremy. What was the question? That they're going to fire Juwan Howard. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, he said Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's I, right. I made the big point. Hey, remember when I fucking grandstand? I thought you moved yeah. on from... I, I don't listen. Try right. what you're saying. I, I turned my headphones off. Right. right. Uh, last, uh, last one. Real shit or horse shit. Aaron Rodgers, Carson Wentz, Jimmy G, Deshaun Watson, and Derek Carr will all be playing for different teams next season. <clears> oh. <throat> This one's tough for me. Yeah, because one of them completely I, negates the whole deal. I would say yes if it weren't for Deshaun Watson. And I could see the Raiders uh, trying to hold on to Derek Carr, um, but I could also see him going elsewhere as well. Deshaun Watson is the only one holding me back from saying real shit because I know Aaron Rodgers, Carson Wentz, probably Jimmy G, and I could definitely see Derek Carr going elsewhere. Yep. I don't know about Deshaun Watson. I said Deshaun Watson wasn't going to play this year when I was on the radio yeah. before the season started, and my co-host called me crazy. 
He's like, no, this is going to get figured out. He'll be back. He'll be you fine. You just got to brag. You were on the Nothing. fucking radio. That's what you're doing. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. He's got a fucking face for it. I mean, Jesus. Um, but, but yeah. now with the coaching change in Houston, Will Deshaun decided to stay. That I mean, that's a question. But actually, yeah. I, I honestly think the one in here that makes me think that this is horseshit is actually Aaron fucking Rodgers. Really? Okay. Yeah, there's a good chance he's got around. another year on the contract. I think he stays. If I mean, if you go, if you leave, where do you go to be in a better situation? It sure as shit is not in Denver. Why? Because now you're going to end up playing Patrick Mahomes twice a year, Justin Herbert twice a year. No, that's not where I'd go. I think the only other place I could think maybe be a possibility would be Pittsburgh. In all seriousness, if they could trade something for it, what but they would trade a lot. I don't think I would want to go to New the Orleans. Buccaneers. I don't want to go to the Buccaneers either. I think I think he wants to stay in that area. In and, the area, I guess. And, and the other thing, and if they, if not, send him down to T- Tampa Bay, whatever. To but XFL, I, yeah. But I don't think, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, XFL. <laughs> but the other thing is, is I don't think he wants to be put into a situation to where he either, A, has to rebuild a team. Yeah. I think he needs to go someplace where they are going to be Super Bowl competitive right out of the gate. Yeah, I can so, see it. Jeremy? I'm going to go uh, with uh, horseshit, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. It says here uh, that they will all be playing for different teams uh, next season. Deshaun Watson didn't play for any team. <laughs> <laughs> he stood and watched a lot of Houston Texans games. He's fair. But, no, fair. I, right. I think he will still be playing for Houston simply for the fact that basically every team that has shown any interest in him has said he has got to get through his legal issues yep. first mm-hmm. and that could honestly take years yeah. right right especially if he's not willing to cut any kind of a plea deal right. and then even if he I does thought... that would be admitting some guilt and oh, so that's why, yeah. he tried to settle i don't know that anybody mm-hmm. is going to want to take him if he plays guilty he's going to have to be tried and found not guilty right Okay. Which we all know he is not guilty. I mean, right? right. Yeah, right? totally. Totally. They were asking for it. Right. Well, I mean, I was the one who did it. Actually, sure. I blamed right. it on him. Well, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. Yes. This is becoming great. Um, this is what we like to call bad advice with Jeremy. Uh, you guys, if you have any questions or need some advice from Jeremy Joseph, you can send them to us at our Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. And you can uh, write him a little note of, uh, and, and ask him a question of what to do in any particular situation. And we have another one this week. I really didn't get a chance to prepare much for this because somebody wouldn't send me the fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but this week, uh, we've got another one from a, a young lady. Surprise me. Yeah. This yeah. Up. This is another uh, lady. Ooh, yeah. Another lady. lady. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, from at Kristen Holm 0217. And she writes, hey, guys, love your podcasts and TikToks, but I need some advice from Jeremy. My husband's sex drive isn't what it used to be. We are intimate maybe every other week or so. What's wrong with that? Yeah. How can I get his drive back up and get back to the intimacy that we used to have? Viagra. I'm sorry. This is yours. (laughs) You're goddamn right. Now you just (laughs) shut the fuck up and sit down. Listen to what I'm saying. First off. I don't like you writing in just to brag about how often you guys have sex. (laughs) Once every two weeks? Jesus, where do you get the energy? (laughs) Okay. Second of all, fuck fuck your husband for not wanting to take advantage of that. What's wrong with you? (laughs) That's really what we got to look at here. But instead, I'll focus on helping you out. Um, First thing that I would suggest is... Bring a friend into it. <laughs> that always helps things out. That nothing has ever gone bad when a woman brings her friend into her current relationship, especially in marriage. Uh, there's no way that he's going to pick her over you, even though she's got that brand spanking new puss. Uh, second thing, if you don't want to do that, uh, bust in on him while he's taking a shit. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why it takes two hours for him to shit? It's because he's already in there watching porn and jerking off. All you got to do is just walk in there pantless and straddle him. He's already in the mood. That's when just maybe bring in some candles. Uh, For the smell. Yeah. And and, and the other thing is if if you really want it more often, I would suggest what I, I, I made this up right before the show. Violin. (laughs) <laughs> that is a mix of Viagra and Rufalin. <laughs> Some people might call that the Cosby. 
I, I digress. He he didn't use Rufalin. He used uh, what did he use? Quaaludes. <laughs> Those are hard to find. You got to go to Mexico for that. You can get Rufalin. Uh, shit, I got some. I'll show you. Um, Beverage but tastes weird. You might be thinking to yourself, "Isn't this illegal?" Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but it's really worth it if you want to save that marriage and get that spark back in there. So that's probably your best bet. Drug him with boner pills and knockout shit, <laughs> and then just ride it till your heart's content because it ain't going down. <laughs> so uh, that's my advice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Man, if it was the other way around, that would have been the thing that got this show canceled. Yeah. <laughs> That's it right there. Who's going to cancel this? <laughs> yeah. We're, we're kind of in charge of this. The internet's yeah. free. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't you don't hear a lot about male or female on male date rape. Right. I, I, I think it should. happens all the time. <laughs> I bet it does. I've been raped, man. Oh, God, I'm sorry. There was a comedian. I don't remember who it was. I saw him on Showtime once and talked about... I don't know if I've been date, date, date raped or not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can rub my fingers on it and smell. That might be her. That might be me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. And it, oh, it's, God. But it's true. No one talks about that whatsoever. I, I had a buddy uh, back Jeez, in my college fraternity. <laughs> no, 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 you're going to like this story, uh -huh. Jeremy. Okay. I had a buddy back in my college fraternity who uh, woke up drunk out of his mind at about 3 a.m. Uh, and he was getting a Blumpkin. Oh, uh, nice. From nice. probably 350 pound chick. Oh, that's um, disgusting. And he told me he went right back to sleep. And that's the that's the uh, that's the story that I always think of when I think of double standards oh, yeah. for uh, rape. Oh, sure. You know stuff like that because yeah. he that is saw really what the was he, he, the show. he <laughs> saw that he was getting raped and decided to go back to sleep. I mean that's just it, like that. If that doesn't tell you how much men like think about that stuff, then nothing will. Well, yeah, sure. uh, honestly, what does that say about her and her blowjob skills? <laughs> <laughs> right. Took him a little bit to wake up. So sure. Probably, I mean, <laughs> not a lot. Uh, now, okay, the Blumpkin is the, the BJ on the toilet, On the right? toilet. So, yeah. yeah, I didn't even have to mention that so he, he fell was asleep shit, he on was the toilet. Shitting? He fell asleep shitting, drunk out of his mind, and he woke up getting the Blumpkin. I didn't even have to mention a, that he was on the toilet because the Blumpkin covered She that. got a whiff and went, I gotta have him I that. looked at him and went, dear God. I hope he hasn't wiped yet. That is the most oh, disgusting yeah. thing I've ever seen. It was shitting. I, I have to imagine what, that half of the shit was, was still hanging out of Scotty, his ass. Scotty, come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's so disgusting. we got to We better move on again. To what? What uh, we got? We, we what? got we've got overrated Keep or laughing, under, assholes. No. We got overrated <laughs> or underrated. Uh, again, guys, if you have any suggestions for overrated or underrated, you can go ahead and send them in. Uh, to laughing on the, uh, laughing on the sidelines at our Instagram. First one this week is overrated or underrated girls with daddy issues. <laughs> like the ones so, that'll blow you while you're on the fucking toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is fucking without your consent. Without against yes. your consent. <laughs> this is underrated. George Carlin as hell. famously said something you'll never hear a man say: "Stop sucking my dick, or I'll call the police." <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Uh, now I'm going to shock you guys with this. One. I'm going to have to go with uh, overrated. And really? Here's, and here's why. Okay. Um, if you have the skill at talking to women like I do, uh -huh. you, you they can have a fantastic relationship with their father, and they will still end up with my penis in their mouth by the end of the night. <laughs> well, yeah, you got that PS5 control. That's right. That's what I'm saying. I have it with me too. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm gonna go. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna go underrated. Okay. For just for the simple reason of what they are like in the sack. Okay. Okay. That that's what I'm gonna say there. But I will say overrated for long-term relationships. Mm -hmm. That's where we go. Because then they want you to like stick around oh, and yeah. like, talk to them and shit. Yeah, fuck that. <coughs> Jeremy, women. Uh, I'm gonna go Kidding. with uh, with overrated. Just uh, I don't I don't want to be around people. <laughs> yeah. Let, let alone ones with. Their their, I don't give a is. shit what their issues are. I don't want to hear about them. <laughs> Great. Great. Are you starving to death? I will eat some of this sand I'm kicking in your face. How about that? <laughs> nice. Take your issue somewhere else. Okay. Uh, next Why one. Why are you in such a hurry for? I don't know. Uh, next one. Uh, this is a fan's question. Oh, uh, this is from at AMB56. Uh, they want to know, overrated or underrated, having two Christmases because your parents are divorced. <laughs> so... 
Um, unfortunately for me, my parents are happily married, so <laughs> I, I kind of have a bias <laughs> with this question. Yeah. But I am personally going to say I think it would be underrated because I think that, that uh, having divorced parents kind of gets a lot of flack. You know, people sure. just assume you've gone through like, oh, this, that, whatever. When in reality, like I've got a friend from college whose parents divorced before he was born. Uh-huh. So he grew up with divorced parents. This motherfucker got two Christmases and he didn't have to even go through the family fighting. Yeah. Like he got it for free. And I think that that's a little bullshit. But I digress. Uh, this is. It, does he listen to the show? <laughs> Probably I like not. to think he does, and I want to let him know that he is the reason they got divorced. Right. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> uh, percent. This is underrated. I am one of those people. Very My nice. parents got divorced when I was uh, three years old. Don't remember a whole lot. I do remember, but not not a whole lot. Lucky and, son uh, of a bitch. You damn right. <laughs> but here's the thing: you don't get like two Christmases. You get many more than just. <laughs> you've got you've got the Christmas with your biological parent and then the step parents and their family. So it goes actually from two Christmases to like four, right. six, however many relationships they've been through. And then, Scotty's got a long line of dysfunction. And well, and I, I, do. I feel like around the time your parents are getting divorced, now you, you were three, so three. it probably didn't affect you all that much, but around yeah. that time, your other relatives are going to start to feel really bad for you. And they're going to go, you know what, this guy probably deserves an extra Christmas present. I'll throw him a Target gift a- card or something. Absolutely. And then, yeah, you just... How, nah. do you, how about you down there, Jeremy? Uh, I can only look at this from the divorced parents' standpoint. <laughs> My parents stayed married and... Um, yeah, but I have been the divorced dad on this, and yeah, it it it's got to be nice for the kids. I mean, he gets an extra carton of cigarettes, right? But <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's I, I'm just gonna go ahead. That's that's one less fucking carton that I get, right? Go on. enough. Go on. That's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, I filled all that airtime with my advice, dickhead. <laughs> I'm out of words. <laughs> Sorry. I am out of words. You can't breathe that hard. I know. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Glory holes. Ooh. Mm-hmm. This is a good one. It's goddamn right it is. A big- <laughs> I'm. Oh God! I don't. I don't want to go first on, on this. Overrated. Thank you. <laughs> you never know what's on the other side of that. No, that was and my and when when you're the on the receiving end of it, you just got to take whatever you get. <laughs> Sometimes they got that weird bump in them. Oh, oh God! You don't know which way they're gonna bend. Uh, hey man, stop talking about me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking overrated. I'm gonna go with uh, underrated, uh, but underrated. actually underrated, but actually for the same reason that you said, uh, because you never know what you're gonna get. Right now, <laughs> if if you're on the giving end of it, I mean, you can be on the toilet on the other side. Right. Yeah. Your old fashioned plumpkin. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. And they it. have no idea. I don't know how that would work as far as a glory hole goes, but I mean, uh, I don't know. It, it kind of doesn't. Well, work yeah, out, you got to bend it in an uncomfortable position, right. or have a vertical toilet. Right. right. <laughs> I'll just do it, you know, in the urinal. Like that. I got in trouble for doing that (laughs) in high school. Sure, you fucking did. (laughs) All right. You're not as sneaky as the rest of us. (laughs) Right. Uh, Moving on. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Drunk texting. Hmm. Um, That really makes it a bitch to drive. (laughs) (laughs) To drunk text and drive. But a hell of a lot more fun. Uh, I would have to go with overrated. Um, because typically when I send my exes drunk texts or anything like that, um, I'm asking them to, you know, like get back together, which is what I want to do. So when you're drunk yeah, or when you're sober, Oh, when I'm drunk, because I have the courage to not when you're sober. No, when I'm sober, I just don't talk to them. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, that's that's what women like. Right. Uh, I, uh, I am also going to go overrated for that exact same reason. Love it. When you are drunk and you are texting exes, it's never a good fucking thing. Mm -mm. Jeremy, I'm too old to remember any of my exes phone numbers. (laughs) So generally (laughs) if I text anybody, it's going to be like, you know, the fucking dry cleaner that text me. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's great. (laughs) (laughs) I got more pukey clothes for you to clean. <laughs> or if it's a wrong number. If it's a wrong number, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I'll text a random number. Oh, I'll do that damn sober. Right. I shit. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody, you know they call you the wrong name. They're like, what's up, Jake? How are you? <laughs> hmm? I'm, I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> oh, this conversation's going to be two hours long. <laughs> All right. And uh, last one, overrated or underrated, poorly timed Holocaust jokes. 
I'm going to have to go with underrated as long as you're not the one making it. What do you mean? Uh, if you are the one making the poorly timed uh, Holocaust joke like I did at my sister's wedding. Right. Uh I would have to say that it's very overrated. People just don't laugh. You know, they don't know what's funny anymore hey. when when you're supposed to be serious. Oh, uh, dark but humor is but awesome. if you're, you know, my sister who got to watch that hilarious joke that I unfilled, I would say it's underrated because good for her. No, I'm, I'm gonna just go with the underrated completely. Love Both it. sides. I don't care if nobody laughs. Nobody laughs at my fucking jokes anyway. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's Jeremy. Uh, overrated. And uh, it's because really with comedy, timing is everything. Yep. Right. And if they got shitty timing, the punchline's going to be all fucked up. Nobody's going to laugh at that. Right. right. And the Holocaust was a lie anyway. You're right? damn right. It was. It's <laughs> fake news. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. That it's is. not that it was a lie. It just wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. I was there. It I was mean, they fucking couldn't, horrible. They yeah. couldn't have been all good people, could they have? <laughs> yes, they could have. <laughs> all right. That guy didn't pay his taxes. <laughs> that is overrated or underrated. And now we, we just get, lost our four Jewish listeners. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> now we get some, you didn't bring it up. You gave the right answer, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm the one who... I'll give you some money to listen. To <laughs> Dude, I would honestly love to have less listeners. I, uh... <laughs> now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, same thing applies. You can send us your suggestions for those at Laughing on the Sidelines uh, on Instagram. Now, what does preguntas mean again, Scotty? Questions. Because we have a big following in Uruguay. And, huh? In Espanol. Actually, fuck, we have a lot, actually a lot of people that listen to us. Uh, I think it's Spain, I think. Really? Fuck yeah. Hi, Spain. 55 countries is what we're in. Like, no uh, shit. No shit, yeah. I we got fans that are Spaniards? Hi, Spaniards. Spain. Yep. Do they swashbuckle? Yeah. Nice. And related to uh, the Spaniard from uh, Gladiator. Well, I've never been to Spain. Slash Russell Crowe. Yeah, I, I got it, Scotty. Again, nobody laughs at your joke. His name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Maximus. Let's leave it to the stand comics. All yeah. right. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> now we can <laughs> no move shit. on. You, you host the fucking show. You move things along. That's what you do. <laughs> right. You're uh, like the train conductor. All aboard. Uh, yeah. Uh, so first question. What men think women are saying when they go to the bathroom together? Yes. Uh, now, I picked this one. This is one of the yeah. ones that I picked. Yeah. Um, because you know, whether or not they're actually discussing this, uh, you know, I, I, I told you guys earlier that uh, I, I struggle with anxiety. Sure. On a daily basis. Uh -huh, yeah. It's awful. Um, but I, uh, a lot of the times when, like, my my friends who are girls will go to the bathroom. The first thought that pops into my head is, man, they're discussing how small my dick is. And the thing is, my dick isn't even that small. But, yeah. like, I'm just, I, I, they haven't seen it's, it. So I feel like they don't know and they're just going to automatically assume I the worst. I think there's an unwritten, like, rule, and that is if you are lanky and goofy looking, you always have a huge dick. Right, and so, I'm chubby. That, oh, <laughs> never mind that. <laughs> Uh, but no, uh, I I went ahead and I, I was going to say something along the lines of penis size. That's what I was going to say. However, I think what they actually talk about is not the size. It's actually whether or not it's well kept. If, if, if it's been Manscaped. And that's why you buy from Manscaped, people. You you see that? He just put a bow on it. That tag. was incredible. That's it. Holy shit. That's what we call a, a callback in right. the comedy Jesus business. Christ, Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> You should mark this down. You just got a compliment. I did. <laughs> that has never happened. No, no, that's the wrong. <laughs> I don't think you know how to punctuate a compliment. You <laughs> just over here drumming beats. <laughs> sure you are. You got, you got your snare and your hi hat. All right. <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? Uh, what do I think they're thinking? Yep. Yeah. Oh my God! Did you see that PS5 controller? <laughs> <laughs> yes, perfect. Damn right. Yep. All right. Next question. That's how you put a bow on it. That's right. Uh, it's way better than Scotty's bow. <laughs> yeah. Scotty's <laughs> Scotty's got like a restrung bow. I got like a, a fucking compound <laughs> yeah. bow. I got, he's got like that Hunger Games bullshit bow. Yeah. Your parents didn't love you enough when you were a kid. Did no, they, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. No, they didn't, and and they put it in my birthday card. <laughs> that, well, I really didn't care for you. <laughs> <laughs> now get your, out. Your yep. brother was was the one we really liked. <laughs> Next question. Apparently, your brother or your dad did too. Right? Words that Don't sound dirty but aren't. Mm. 
words that sound dirty but aren't. Now, I, I picked this one as well. Um, I like this one. Uh, I have two words in mind. Okay. Uh, the first one, you know, it doesn't sound dirty as much as it's kind of like a cringe word for me, but uh-huh. that's the word pus. Oh, yeah. You know, that green liquid shit that's inside of your pimples and pus. stuff. Yeah. Puss. It's it's one letter like away boots. from pussy, <laughs> yeah, right? In boots. And then also, right, that's fair. And then also, I, like, you think about it, and it's fucking disgusting. Like, okay. it almost should be a bad word. It's disgusting. It, I, it's I hate one of those, that word. Especially when it's written, it's just one S. Yes. Yeah. And that should have three. I agree. Yes. And then uh, my second oozes. one. <laughs> yeah. My second one is uh, weenus. And yeah. that is uh, yeah. this right here. Yeah. For all you Spaniards. Mm. I'm going to go, um, <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna go in with uh, I'll point to it in Espanol. El Weenus. Yeah. I'm gonna go with uh with feather plucker. Feather plucker. Yeah. That sounds like a derogatory term. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a sexual innuendo. I I feel like I should be offended right now. Yeah, but you're not. Yeah, Cause, I, exactly. Because you're a big boy. I'm white. Did you ever see that on uh Tosh when they went through that list of words that that he made up that should <laughs> people had to decide whether they were or were not offensive? No. Boo lag, <laughs> spoon face, <laughs> biscuit neck. <laughs> uh, they, just say, they just sound like derogatory <laughs> terms, but they're completely pumpkin chucker. <laughs> uh, That's fucking great. All right. Anyways, uh, is that yours? No. Oh, what's yours? No, it's Tasha's. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I, I get confused for him a lot. 100%. <laughs> uh, come quiet. Come quad. I, yeah, I like. Yeah, yep. yep. That's Everything about that sounds dirty. It does. If yeah. I ever saw, is that a fruit or vegetable? Yeah, uh, that's. Uh, I didn't know that it was real. I, I didn't either. I, I'll, I'll be honest. Whatever it is, if I ever see one, I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> that's where I'm at with that. Call that's that come squat. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, next one. Fifty percent of all marriages end because of Kids. blank. Blank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change my answer. Well, can I? Can I, can I go then? Yeah. Yes, please. Her bullshit. A hundred percent. Her bullshit. Her Christmas ornaments that are still up. Right. <laughs> of the eighteen thousand Christmas trees that we have in the house, while she sits there watching the goddamn Harry Potter marathon. <laughs> Just to give an example. Of- of things. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, her trying to give her husband a blumpkin <laughs> <laughs> while that, he's drunk, passed out on the toilet. That'll yeah. do it. Yep, I, I would agree with that. I'm gonna have to say uh, when uh, the husband starts to lose sex drive, there's not really much you can do yeah. to save the marriage at that point. You right. know, I would say you should just cut it off right there. Right. Cheat on him. In fact, yeah, would absolutely. be my advice. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that helps everything. <laughs> Get you a side hustle. All right. Uh, next question. Instead of coal, Santa now gives the bad children blank. Uh, herpes. <laughs> I'm going to stick with that one. That's all I got for you. Perfect. <laughs> uh, uh, yo-yos. Yo-yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I wanted a fucking iPhone. <laughs> no, no okay. fuck you. You get a yo-yo. You and not, got it. not like the fancy ones that like the competition one. No, not the these, light up the, ones. Yeah, these are like the bullshit ones that don't do anything. That don't really work. All the, ones with, the yeah. ones with the spring in them that you can't even let them spin when they get down so you can do tricks. Yeah. The ones that are made for four-year-olds that can't right. make them come back up. Yep. Fuck those yo-yos. <laughs> Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Well, he kind of stole a little bit of my thunder. Because, see, I, I know that he doesn't give out coal anymore because then he would get shamed and canceled for his carbon footprint. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to say flip phones. <laughs> Perfect. Could you imagine a teenager with a fucking phone that wasn't smart <laughs> having to show that off to their friends? Yeah, text me. I got a fucking you know, type it out <laughs> on all just nine keys. Yep. Yep. The tech yep. nine or, or text nine buttons. Yeah. Give him a tech nine too. <laughs> give him a fucking submachine gun. Uh, <laughs> get, get him that phone called the jitterbug. <laughs> <laughs> just that. Yep. Just that. I don't even need to know Jesus what it looks Christ, like. Jesus Christ, you threw your pin all over the floor. <laughs> well, I'll get it later. All, all right. right. Uh, quick question for you, Jeremy. Right. Um, I, I, got, what, I got quick answers. Right. I'm an open book. You ask me anything you want. What is a flip phone? 
Jesus, you're gonna ask my <laughs> well, uh, are you going to ask my fucking social security number too? You're getting very personal. Wow. I realize I said I was an open book, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, a God. flip phone is what we used to use back in the early 2000s. Yeah. Mm. Uh, great. Some had I cameras, see. some did not. Like a Motorola Razor. Razor, <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. All right, last question. You can't actually shave with those, by the way. Don't even try. Right, right. Don't <laughs> fucking even try it, Scotty. Right. Uh, last question. Mm-hmm. Blank, the whitest thing ever. Okay, I got a good one for this. Uh, when you ask a white person what their ethnicity is, and they say, well, I'm part Native American, <laughs> that, that is the whitest thing ever. Uh, I don't As know. you can see by the dream catcher. <laughs> right. <laughs> and my Jeep Cherokee. Hey, he's, he's 2%, all right? He gets yeah. the scholarships, too. My okay. mom was almost a full 17th Navajo. <laughs> <laughs> I've got... So I get some of that nickel slot money. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one that's actually real. Um, it is talking about the weather for small talk. Mm. That is only white people do. Well, that I mean, shit. compared to all that snow, Scotty, it is nice weather. <laughs> See, <laughs> I don't know that that talks all that small. To be honest, uh, I enjoy that. That and watching Letter Kenny. See now the now the best is when you uh, talk about the weather as small talk to someone who isn't white, and you can see just how uncomfortable, mm-hmm. they, uncomfortable they get. They They're get. like, Christ, I want to talk about something else. Jesus. Oh my God, damn that sun is sure shining bright today, isn't yep. it? Yep, isn't it, Lashawn? Yep. And winning a T-ball award back in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. That's my other one. Uh, what is the 80s? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so when you can see that they want to talk some, about somebody else, you just bring up Ja Rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ja Rule's something else, isn't he, huh? <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Is that yours? No. Oh, what, what's what's yours? Uh, metal detecting. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, Gary Drayton, that top pocket find. You have to show... That you are 100% Caucasian in order to buy a metal detector. They won't sell you one. Not even at a garage sale. It's a federal offense. <laughs> That's funny. That's fucking oh, great. God. All right, guys. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or even on our TikTok. Uh, but and now we get to move on to a fun part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, how, how, how'd we do last week, Jeremy? Uh, I won. You won? Wholeheartedly, handily, just kicked the living dog shit out of you guys. Yeah, your, your, your list was pretty fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I lost. It was I was Mike Tyson. You guys were fucking Michael Spinks. I mean, it was <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So uh, this week uh, we're gonna do another draft, and and this is actually a uh, I think this was actually his idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a new guy. Idea. Yeah. So if you don't like this, blame the fucking new guy. Yeah, that's right. Um, and because you are, and we guest, won't have him back because you know he's moving. Right. Right. And we don't have guest hosts over age of twenty three. Correct. <laughs> 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 oh God. You got to go fall in love with some <laughs> fucking show. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this week, uh, the draft is going to be the worst places to pick up chicks. That's our draft. Uh, because you are the guest, you get first pick. I will get the uh, sandwich pick. And Jeremy, since he won last week's draft, he gets the championship picks. So, yes. yeah. So you got the 101, bro. Wonderful. So... I came up with this because I was looking at uh, my sketch ideas. I told you guys I like to do like yeah, sketch yeah. comedy and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of ideas written out on my phone, and I looked at it. And one of my sketch ideas is picking up chicks at the pregnancy center. Yeah. So I'm going to go with that one because it's what brought all this together, you know? Because yeah. you think they're either in the mood to celebrate or yep. they need a shoulder to cry on. Turns out they're more in the mood to pepper spray someone. There you so. go. Um, I think... But those girls fuck. You know that they do. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm going. They're right. easy. Sure. Uh, Just because it's a bad place to do it doesn't mean you don't go there. <laughs> I think I'm going to go uh, with, I mean, the only pick that just pops right in my head that just would be awful is the Cancer Treatment Center. <laughs> fair. That's fair. 
That's uh, that's my number pick, number one pick. Jeremy, you get two. Uh, truck stop. Yep. Truck stop. You wouldn't be able to pick her up. Ooh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but now you give yourself the rim shot. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Boom. That's how you <laughs> that's do it, Scotty. timing <laughs> right there. That's right. Uh, you get another pick there, Jeremy. <sighs> uh, men's room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You don't know, man. Maybe the maybe the baby changing tables sure. are not working in the women's, you know? <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what they're doing in there, right? Um, all right. So my second pick, uh, yeah, I gotta go abortion clinic. Yeah, that's fair. Mm-hmm. So close to pregnancy center, but not the again. Same. Those yeah, girls, not fuck. the same. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And you already know they're willing to get rid of it, right. so it's so not like they yeah, make you yeah. wear a they're, condom they're or good anything. Sports, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so now, now you get two. You get back to back picks. So now I get two. All right. Uh, for my first one, I'm going to go with um, my grandfather's funeral in oh, 2008. Oh yeah. Uh, it, 2008 is important. You don't have there. any hot cousins, or <laughs> uh, too hot for me? Sure. Um, I can tell you that much. And then. Um, I'm going to go with, now this isn't a physical place, so let me know if I need to change it, but I was going to go with uh, listening to Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. <laughs> I don't know. Where would that be? Hmm. Because we're everywhere, right? <laughs> That's hear me? true. <laughs> we, so Spain. No, I don't even know no. where to find us. No, right? uh, <laughs> exactly. I heard Spain is a great place to pick it up. It sure kids. is. Spain's just a good place to be. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know why? Because it's not Canada. <laughs> yes. I, love, I love our Canadian listeners. Okay. So, uh, so let me think about this for a quick second then. Um, I'm going to go with a community college in Wyoming. Ooh, that's very specific. Yeah. Yes, there's 700,000 people in Wyoming. You figure what? 20% <laughs> of them are considered hot. Right. And how many of those are going to community college? Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. think so. I'm going to go with a family reunion. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're kind of fucked if uh, that's where you're going. Jeremy, you get two. Uh, burn unit. <laughs> burn unit. Okay. <laughs> Oh, damn it. All right. Um, And you get one more. Just one more? No, you get two more total, but you you get your championship pick. Okay. Um, God damn it. I don't. Is there really a bad place to pick? (laughs) Yeah, maybe. Uh, Sewer treatment plant. Sewer treatment plant. All right. I am. I, I, these, oh, I, okay. I got a. Ooh, my last I got one. a good one too. I, I, well, yeah. well, I tell you what. This is this is the what? very first time to where like my mind is free flowing. I'm gonna go with the morgue, kids. Not, do you want to start morgue? Over? I like that. Not foggy anymore. Not huh? as foggy. Dude, that's the easiest place to get laid. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it really is. Ah, man, I'm loving my list. Okay, you get two, the final two picks. All right, so uh, for my first one, I'm going to go with rehab. Oh, yeah, damn it. Uh, that's a good one. Dude, that's yep. where the crazy chicks are. I and know. Then, uh, and then for Talk my... Talk about daddy issue. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> for my second one... That's your last pick. I'm going to... Or, yeah, for my last pick, I'm going to go with the uh, women's college softball uh, oh, college championship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. haven't seen that many lesbians in one room since. You, you had the right. I don't have anything you else to say. The right they don't play idea. softball in a room. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you that's had, an outdoor sport. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying <laughs> to think here. I realize that you're just riffing, but your riff gun jammed big time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. I've got a. I've got a couple places that that I can. I'm thinking of, but I don't know which one's worse. Because I like your softball pick here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a callback. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, um, ah, God dang it. That's what I, we call it in the comedy I business. Guess, I guess, I guess a gay bar. Gay bar. Yeah. Fair. That's, that's final one. Jeremy, you get the last pick, bud. Waffle house. Waffle house. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. At 2 a.m. <laughs> Fucking you, you, the waffle. You'll house. get some. You <laughs> just ain't going to like it. <laughs> that's right. You'll wake up to a blumpkin. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that With is maple syrup. That is our laughing on the sidelines draft. Uh, I will put um, the results of this draft up on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, where you can go and vote for your favorite list of uh, worst places to pick up chicks. 
um, by uh, voting for whatever list you like for using the corresponding emoji emojis. Jesus, I can't talk. Uh, so yeah, do us a favor. We will have that up Wednesday uh, before noon. So check us out there and uh, vote. Uh, but now we get to get on to my favorite part. Well, my second favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week brought mm. to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. You know, uh, in the early uh, 20th century, Los Angeles was a fledgling city that was growing exponentially. Problem was that they were located in the middle of the fucking desert. <laughs> uh, basically, they needed a way to get water to them. Enter a guy named William Mulholland, who was a geologist and a self-taught engineer. Near. Uh, he basically took control of LA's waterworks where uh, he quickly installed an aqueduct and a uh, large reservoir dam, which he designed both of them that brought in water from people he'd swindled out of their land and basically took all their fucking water from them. They weren't real happy about that. Repeatedly, they would uh, try and blow up parts of the aqueduct with dynamite, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there for this story. Um, Basically, uh, the uh, the St. Francis Dam, which was located in the St. Wait, no, how do you pronounce that? San Francisquito <laughs> Valley. <laughs> but it was the St. Francis Dam located in the San Francisquito Valley, supplied water to most of L.A. Uh, it was completed in 1926. And uh, here's the problem with being a self-taught engineer. <laughs> Because he designed this fucking thing. Now, that works really good for, say, building shelves in your garage. Or maybe uh, you got a side hustle inventing gadgets. <laughs> but when you're talking about a 200-foot fucking reservoir dam that holds <laughs> billions and billions of gallons of water, maybe not the best thing. Uh, on March 12th, uh, 1928... The dam failed catastrophically, who could have guessed, <laughs> sending all of these billions and billions of gallons of water just shooting down the valley. Um, it basically wiped out everything in its path. Uh, by the time it was all said and done with, it killed 431 people Jeez. and injured countless more, as well as did just tremendous property damage. Uh, basically, just a complete catastrophic wiping out of everything in its path. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Legos. I hope you're fucking thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I loved it, Jeremy. <laughs> All right. Well, this week's <sighs> shitty situation is, would you rather receive a blumpkin from a 300-pound unattractive woman or... Can I get some clarification here? Sure. Just yeah. before we go any further, what's the difference between a blumpkin and a rusty trombone? <laughs> um, I just know a blumpkin, you're taking a shit, get a blowjob. What's a rusty trombone? I'm I'm asking, is that with the thumb up the ass? Oh, I think so. Yeah. Is it okay. from the 50s? Right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> or, I, like, I like the minivan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two in the front and five in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like to call that a puppet anyways uh, no not with two in the front Scotty. <laughs> okay. what kind of fucking puppet shows do you run <laughs> i don't know you're the worst puppeteer i've ever known you, jesus oh, i don't even have to see your puppet shows to know anyways would you rather receive a blumpkin from a 300 pound unattractive woman or take your risk with a glory hole and you don't know who's behind it <laughs> So, so I'm going first here. Oh yeah, you're going first. I, I gotta go Blumpkin. Okay. Yeah. I uh, yeah. I, I I mean, so I know the guy where this story came from, uh, right? And uh, you I know, thought you were saying the guy behind he's, the glory <laughs> hole. <laughs> he's still recovering from this Blumpkin, but I'll tell you what, he's in a lot better shape than if he had gotten uh, an STD from some random person in a glory hole. Now you never know with the glory hole; you could very well get some just ten out of ten perfect lady. Mm -hmm. But then she could have a penis, too. You That's know, true. you just That's have no fucking clue what's going on behind correct. there. 
I got to go with the 300 pound woman because it, at least if I'm taking a shit, I can close my eyes and imagine something else. Sure, sure. Um, I only shit with my eyes closed. Good right, right. Uh, it's like sneezing to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> this this is very very difficult for me. <laughs> yeah. I I mean, the, the thing the thing is, what do you got that, against fat chicks, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Scotty. No, I, the, 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 here's what I got is. You will never live that down. You will always be the guy that got a blumpkin from a fat chick. It's true. I've, yeah, I text him all the time, and I go, happy, you know, happy birthday, right. blumpkin. Which, <laughs> Hope which, you're well, blumpkin. Yeah, it's just this glory hole may not have anybody behind it. It very well may be a fucking trap that cuts your dick off. Yeah, that's also true. So or blue balls, even worse. Yeah, I, I, I guess I've got to take the blumpkin. I, I'm, I'll be made fun of the rest of my life, but I will at least still have my dick. Jeremy. Yeah, I'm going with the Blumpkin for sure. Mm, sure. It Clean involves sweet. <laughs> It involves two of my favorite things in the world, shitting and blowjobs. <laughs> I don't really care who's giving it to me as long as it's a blowjob. Um, you know, the thing about a glory hole is I, I don't know if this is a device that I invented in my head or if it's a real thing, but I call it a glory teen, uh, <laughs> which is a guillotine hooked up. <laughs> To a glory hole uh, for oh, yeah. a certain type of decapitation uh, that yeah. nobody likes. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, I, I just, uh, at least one way I know what I'm getting into. Yeah. And I don't care if my friends know. In fact, I'm bragging about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fear of the unknown. Absolutely not. Yeah. Jeez. The abyss waiting behind the glory hole. Yeah. 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 Yep. I'm not a fan of that. Right. For all you know, though, it could be some smoke. Maybe that's hot. her nickname, the abyss. Yeah, the, the abyss. abyss. <laughs> but for all you know, the, the glory hole, you, there's a, a positive, though, thing. It, what if it's yeah, HIV? Up, yeah. <laughs> no, what, what, what if it was a, like a perfect 10 <laughs> comes out of that thing? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very funny. I fucking headline local shows. No, don't, you don't uh, want to tempt me. <laughs> Right. Well, if well, my friend Griffin's mom was behind the glory hole, then I'd have to pick that. Absolutely. But, uh, fuck yeah, we all want to fuck know. Griffin's mom, and I don't even know what she looks like. <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck yep. you, Griffin. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, that is our episode. I four. thought of another place that would be bad to pick up chicks at. Oh, right. it well, can't worst go on the place list, though, right? Scotty's sister's house. <laughs> <laughs> the glory Wish you would have told me that before last night. Right. Dude, uh, nobody knows. Right. We all just walk into that blind, exactly. and we keep going back. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, that is our episode for this week. Thank you very, very much, Adam Cook. Thank you, really, Scotty, really Jeremy. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. Good luck to you with all of your, Jesus, the next five Turning days. Turning 24 yeah, and moving. Yeah, and 24 years old. And becoming a woman, all that. I'm yeah. very excited. And, yeah. It's going to be a great next you week. You should shave. Before, <laughs> before making that transition. You know, I can't figure it out, but everyone has been telling me that recently. I don't know why. Even Because you look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the primary reason. No, that you, can't I, be it. No, you look like a real asshole. I, I don't wouldn't. think so. I, I thought about just telling you you got the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> someone told me I looked like the artistic version of uh, myself. Oh, yeah, well, really? that person was wrong. You look like an asshole. Or, yeah, I was going to say aut autistic sounds a little bit mm -hmm. better. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was already there. So. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, thank you all very, very much. Uh, again, we do appreciate everything. Oh, do we have any? Uh, I'm sorry. Do we have any shows? Do you have any shows? Not, not yet, you said. Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, if you're in Kansas City, uh, just watch out for them. There you go. There you go. Eventually. Right. Keep uh, keep your eyes uh, peeled in there in the Kansas City area. Stand-up comedian Adam Cook. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Do uh, it, if do you're, it I talk if you're about the yeast infection, yeah, so you're going to want to hear it unless that. you're a woman. No shit. I mean, I hope that's a, an all-male crowd. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's into Blumpkins. You, hey, then, then I am. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm an expert in yeah, Blumpkins. Absolutely. But, but yeah, I've got funny comedy. I talk about all sorts of things, so please come that's out subjective. and see me. It's yep. going to be, yeah. <laughs> that is going to be fun. Uh, all right, guys. Well, thank you guys. If you're on yeah. the corner of 5th and Waco, my hot new band, Rhino Filet, is going to be playing. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you guys so very much we sincerely do appreciate it keep doing what you're doing like and sharing our tiktoks commenting and showing them to your friends we sincerely do appreciate that and as always if you would do us a favor if you like us tell your friends if you don't like us though i hope you get your dick pierced for the commemorative nba all-star ring <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, everything looks better when it's sitting on a writ. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye.